Hello again. There's a lot of greyhounds finish racing every year and look for new homes. And someone might tell you that homing one greyhound isn't going to change the world, but it's certainly going to change the world for that greyhound. It's also going to change your life. And in this video, we're going to have a look at some of the changes that might happen when you home a greyhound. Are you ready to embrace that change? One of the first areas to think about is how it's going to affect your social life. Rather than being able to come and go as and when you please, you'll suddenly find that everything revolves around how long you can leave them or whether they can come with you. You'll find you start booking activities around their schedule or turning things down because it happens at walk times or meal times. It'll change the whole routine of your day. And if like me, you're a bit of a night owl, it could be a bit of a shock to the system because greyhounds tend to operate on the early shift, at least at first. And that definitely was something it took me a while to get used to. When it comes to days out and for holidays, again, it changes how you see things. Instead of just going to the one that gets the best review, you'll find yourself looking for dog friendly cafes or dog friendly pubs, somewhere that will allow your greyhound inside. And then even then, is there going to be room for them? Might there be other dogs that upset them if the dog's reactive? Or are you gonna to have to eat outside yet again on the terrace in a howling gale or the pouring rain? Just because that is the space where your dog feels safe. You'll be looking for dog friendly activities, things that they're going to enjoy participating in with you. And thinking about, is there something for them to sit on? They're notoriously unhappy about the idea of laying down on concrete or walking on gravel. So the surface becomes as important as what's on that surface. Are they going to get bored hanging around? Is it going to be too tiring, too far to walk or take too long to do? Will the hill be too steep? What's the weather going to be like? Will it be too hot? Will it be too cold? Will it be too wet? Can you find shelter? They're really not designed for all weather conditions. You'll find yourself packing a rucksack or even a trolley of all the things they need for their day out. You might need a rug for them to sit on or a spare bed. You'll need their water. You might need food, some snacks, their coats, a cooling mat. You name it, you'll probably have that stashed in your bag for your days out. And then all this moves to a new level of complexity when it comes to holidays. So the big question, will the dog come with you or will the dog stay behind? And if so, what are we going to do with them? So you'll be perhaps looking at a different sort of accommodation, one that takes dogs, of course. Now, sometimes they say they take dogs and it turns out they only take small dogs or you've got more than one greyhound and they only take one dog. So taking them to dog friendly accommodation is not always as straightforward as you think it's going to be. Do they have a garden that's greyhound proof? I stayed somewhere that had a dog friendly garden or so it was described. It turned out to be a patch of gravel with a three foot picket fence onto a footpath. Well, that was not dog friendly as far as I was concerned. And what if it's hedged? If the hedge has gaps in it, your next best friend might be disappearing through those gaps in short shrift. And what if they do zoom is and turn the nice lawn into a sea of mud. A whole lot of things to think about when it comes to your holiday accommodation. And as well as thinking about the holiday activities they can do with you, it may be you can't leave them in the accommodation. A lot of places don't allow you to leave animals unsupervised. So it can completely change the nature of your holiday, where you go and the sort of things you do on that holiday. I also found it changes when I want to go on holiday because my dogs have not been too keen to go when it's that busy and also traveling in the summer it can be too hot for them and then if you go in the winter they don't like it too wet or too muddy so it's definitely a spring and autumn sort of holiday with my dogs you'll also probably find that you start to travel very light because your car is full of all the stuff your dogs need to take with them you're going to need an awful lot of room for the stuff they need to take for a week when it comes to having your greyhound though, it does open up different avenues for you in other ways. When it comes to meeting people, that can be an advantage because you may meet people in person on organized walks or just meet your neighbors because they have a greyhound as well and your dog wants to stop and chat with them. 
And of course, the internet has brought us a whole new range of ways to share our experiences and to share the love of your greyhound with like-minded people. You'll probably find your topics of conversation change. You may find discussing poop at great length is the thing that is top of your list. You could become obsessed with dog food, admiring greyhound fashion, and just marvelling at their antics and sharing the delights of owning a greyhound with other people who understand what you're talking about and don't think you've gone slightly mad. So there's a good chance that having a greyhound is going to change your priorities in life. And I certainly find that if I do have a day or two at home without my dogs there, life feels very weird, very empty. And I notice how much more time I have in my day if they happen to be staying somewhere else overnight. You may find you start making a beeline for other greyhounds. And if you don't, your dog certainly will. They're very keen usually to meet others of their kind. And you could find you start staying in rather than going out because you'd rather spend time with your dog than go out there and do other things out in the world without them. So having a greyhound could make you laugh. It could make you cry. You might curse. But I think they do help you to live in the moment and life is never dull when you have a greyhound around. We have twitchy noses, we have comedy ears, silly little squeaky noises, noisy dreams, goofy smiles, bed fails, and of course the inevitable zoom is. They help you to take life less seriously and it's really hard not to smile when you've got a greyhound in your life. So what are you waiting for? Why not get out and have a look to see if you might home a greyhound now? I hope you found that interesting and helpful. I'll be back again soon with more videos. Bye for now. out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.